Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I wanted to show a little trick. Uh, I just got this guitar this weekend and uh, it needed a bit of a setup. And uh, in the process of setting it up, I thought I uh, might want to share this little trick, which is a very easy way to set your action. Um, and it's probably the easiest way that I found to do it. And all you need to do is like use a little credit card. And I'll show you real quick, demonstrate how it works. What we want to do, take any credit card, or it could be a gift card, something that's like, uh, you know, that thickness has a little bit of a flexible bend to it. And we're going to try to put it here between the, I guess around the 12th, 13th fret. So you'll lay your guitar, you know, lay your guitar down flat. You could support it on a, on a pillow or something if you like. But anyway, what you want to do is just place this credit card down there. And then using your thumb, just kind of press it down and then just start to hit the notes. And you'll lower the action on your guitar. Like this is a Les Paul style bridge. So we've just got two screws which will control the height of the, uh, the saddles here. So just by turning the, you know, turning the little uh, screws here and here, we can adjust the height of the action, right? If you have like a strat style bridge, um, there's going to be more screws involved and each of the saddles will raise like independently, but it's still the same process. This obviously being faster because there's just two screws involved. But anyways, um, if you, you just want to do that for, you know, for each string there and lower the action until you're, you start to get a buzz. Once you get the buzz, it means that that's, that's time to, to stop, right? Now, if you, if you, start this process and you're already getting that buzz that means your action is set too low um, and you need to lift it but uh, right out of the right out of the gate I mean this will take you just literally just a couple of minutes to do this and you can get your guitar playing like with a nice little action right out of the, the, the box here now for me with this particular instrument when I first got it the action was really high um, the annotation was off what that means is that the, the note here at the 12th fret, it should match the open string, right? But um, the annotation was a little bit off. Just simply by lowering the action, it fixed the annotation for me. Because essentially, if you have a high action, it causes you to have to press the string down a little bit too far, right? And it, it's almost like essentially makes it do a bend uh, if, the, if the action's too high. So it can make your annotation off. So I thought I was going to have to be having to do saddle adjustments, you know, forward and back here. And uh, that simply by lowering the action solved that problem. Um, once you get the action set, you want to go in and check and make sure that there's no fret buzz on any of your other strings here. If you were to be getting some fret buzz, like a quick fix is just to go back to your saddle and just start doing like quarter turns, half turns to lift it up until you're not getting any fret buzz at that fret, right? Now, a more perfect way to do it, of course, would be to, you know, remove all your hardware, find the, the high fret issue, level it, you know, that's sure, you know, a proper way to do it. But, but like I said, this is real easy. It doesn't require a lot of extra work. You don't have to take your strings off or anything and, you know, you can get it performing much better like very, very quickly. So, um, hope you found that tip useful and like and subscribe to the channel. I post free stuff for you guys to check out periodically. So, um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot.